All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of x plus four to the power of x plus eight to the power of x is equal to 39. So to solve this, I'm gonna first rewrite this as two to the power of x plus two squared to the power of x plus two to the power of three to the power of x is equal to 39. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So two to the power of two to the power of x, I can rewrite as two to the power of x to the power of two, and two to the power of three to the power of x, I can rewrite as two to the power of x to the power of three. Now, I'm going to let two to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I have y plus y squared plus y to the power of three is equal to 39. Now I'm going to subtract 39 on both sides. So these two cancel out and now I have y to the power of three plus y to the power of two plus y minus 39 is equal to zero. Now I'm going to rewrite y squared here as negative three y squared plus four y squared. So I have this plus y minus 39 is equal to zero. Now from y to the power of three minus three y squared, I can factor out y squared. So I have y squared times y minus three. So now, I'm going to add 4y squared, and I'm gonna rewrite y here as negative 12y plus 13y. So now from here, I have y squared times y minus three plus from 4y, my, 4y squared minus 12y, I can factor out 4y. So I have 4y times y minus three plus 13 times y minus three, this is equal to zero. So now if I factor out y minus three, I get y minus three times y squared plus four y plus 13 is equal to zero. So now this gives me, oops, sorry. So now this gives me two equations. I have y minus three is equal to zero, meaning y is equal to three. And I have y squared plus four y plus 13 equals zero. So to solve this, I'm gonna use the quadratic formula, which is negative b, so negative four plus or minus the square root of b squared, so four squared minus four times a, which is one times c, which is 13. And if you notice, this is actually gonna be 16 minus 52, which is negative 36, and you can't take the square root of a negative number, so this is wrong, and my only solution for y is three. Now remember how we let two to the power of x equal y, meaning two to the power of x equals three, so now to solve this, I'm gonna take the log on both sides. And this is the same thing as x times log two is equal to log three, meaning x is equal to log three over log two. All right, so in this problem, I have 10 to the power of nine minus x squared is equal to one. So I obviously wanna find the value of x for this problem. So for my solution, I first start with 10 to the power of nine minus x squared is equal to one. And now, if I have something in the form x to the power of zero, right? Well, any, any number to the power of zero is simply one. So we know we see one here and one is the same thing as a number to the power of zero. So I'm gonna rewrite one as 10 to the power of zero. So now I have 10 to the power of nine minus x squared is equal to 10 to the power of zero because 10 to the power of zero is the same thing as one. And the reason I did this is so that these two bases here are the same. Now, as you see, they're both 10. So now I have 10 to the power of nine minus x squared is equal to 10 to the power of zero. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m, 
is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. Meaning over here, because both of our bases are the same, they both are 10, our exponents are going to be equal to each other as well, meaning 9 minus x squared, that's going to be equal to 0. So I have 9 minus x squared is equal to 0. Now, as you see, we have a simple equation to solve. So to solve this equation, I'm going to add x squared on both sides. So these two cancel out, and then I have x squared is equal to 9. Now, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So the square root of x squared is equal to square root of 9. And the square root of x squared, that's x. The square root of 9, this can be positive or negative 3. So my two solutions for x are x equals 3 and x equals negative 3. So now I actually have another solution. So again, I have 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 1. And this time I'm actually going to take the log on both sides. So I have log of 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to log 1. So now log of 1, that's 0. So I have log 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 0. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, it's the same thing as b times log a. So in this case, I have 9 minus x squared times log 10 is equal to 0. Now log 10, this is simply 0. Or sorry, this is simply 1. So now I have 9 minus x squared times 1, which is simply 9 minus x squared is equal to 0. And again, I'm back to where I started. 9 minus x squared equals 0, so x is equal to 3 or negative 3. So that is my second solution. All right, so in this problem, I have 100 to the power of x is equal to 200. So I'm going to find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with 100 to the power of x is equal to 200. And now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 100 to the power of x is equal to log 200. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is the same thing as I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, log 100 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 100 is equal to log 200. Now, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by log 100. So log 100 and log 100, these two cancel out. So now I have x is equal to log 200 over log 100. Now log 200, I can rewrite as log of 100 times 2. And log 100, I can rewrite as log 10 squared. Now, if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log b. So now this is the same thing as log 100 plus log 2. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, it's the same thing as b times log a. So log 10 to the power of 2, that's the same thing as 2 times log 10. Now log 10, that's equal to 1. So now I have x is equal to log 100 plus log 2 over 2. And again, we have log 100 again, and that's again equal, going to equal to 2. So I have 2 plus log 2 over 2. And this is the same thing as 2 over 2 plus log 2 over 2. 2 over 2 is obviously 1. So I have 1 plus log 2 over 2. Now we need to find the exact value of log 2 uh, to which we can use a calculator. So if you use a calculator, you get that log 2 is 
0 0.301 and I have that divided by 2 so now this is the same thing as 1 plus 0 0.1505 so now 1 plus 0 0.1505 is 1.1505. So this is my answer.